Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us construct diagonal scale. Here the given data is construct a diagonal scale of 1 is to 63,360 to read miles, furlongs and chains and long enough to measure up to 6 miles. Full stop. Show a distance of 4 miles, 3 furlongs, 2 chains on it. Here we have to construct one diagonal scale. In it we have to show miles this scale should measure miles, furlongs and chains. Okay, three consecutive units are there. Whenever three units we have to mark, we have to do the scale. That scale is called diagonal scale. Always remember it. First write down the given data before doing the diagonal scale. So here RF value is given. It is equal to 63,360. RF is nothing but representative factor. Okay, it is equal to, it is a ratio of two lengths. It is a ratio of drawing length to the actual length. Okay, so drawing length means which we can able to do in the sheet. Okay, it may be in centimeter or millimeter. Okay, it is a drawing length to the actual length. Actual length means limit of this scale. Okay, so here what is the maximum limit of the scale means it can, this scale should measure up to six miles. Okay, so this scale is measuring up to six miles. It is the actual length. It is equal to the same value I have written here, RF value. We need to find the drawing length. How much length we need to do on the sheet. So I am keeping as it is drawing length is equal to this value into actual length. This value is coming here, actual length. Okay. Take the same value here into, what is the actual length just now I told? It is the limit of the scale. It can measure up to 6 miles. So 6 miles. As I told, drawing length is in centimeters. Convert this miles into centimeters. Okay. Here see the relation between two units okay here we have to read by using this scale miles furlongs and chains see the relation between miles furlongs and chains here here i have written one mile in the shortcut form mi we can write for mile is equal to eight furlongs furlong shortcut form we are writing f u r in small letter one furlong is equal to 10 chains okay for chain we are writing ch one chain is equal to 22 yards for ads, we are writing shortcut form capital Y small d. Okay. One ad is equal to 3 feet or 3 foot. So, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. Inches, we are writing shortcut form I n. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Like that, we are converting miles into centimeters. So, substitute here. We can get the entire value drawing length in centimeters. So, here I will write 1 by 63360. 6 into miles means 1 mile means 8 furlongs into 8 furlongs 1 furlong is equal to 10 chains okay 10 chain 1 chain is equal to 22 adds okay 1 add is equal to 3 feet 3 1 feet is equal to or 1 foot is equal to 12 inches 12 inches so 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter so here entire value we are getting in centimeters because we are converting miles into centimeters here. So remember this relation so that you can substitute here. You will get the correct value. So do we can cal see this value. Here 1 divided by 63360 into 6 into 8 into 10 into 22 into 3 into 12 into 2.54. This value is 15.24 centimeters. It is nothing but drawing length. Here drawing length is 15.24. Mark the endpoints. So here mark approximately 15.24. Join the endpoints. U, A, B. For this scale take width. For diagonal scale take 3 centimeter or 4 centimeter. It is called arbitrary width. Okay, I am taking. 4 cm here this side. So this side also I will take 4 cm. Join these two ends. Take this is the reference line. Give the end names C, D. Okay, A, B, C, D is the diagonal scale. So this scale can measure the limit up to 6 miles. Okay, so this length is indicating 6 miles. Divide this box into 6 parts. Okay, each part is 1 mile. Okay. How to divide any length into 6 equal divisions? We have one processor of dividing any length into some number of parts. First take one inclined line of some length. 
and this angle should be less than 90 and divide this line inclined line into some number of parts here we have to divide six parts take any length okay and a as center do an arc here okay we have to divide this line into six parts first part second third fourth fifth sixth join this last point to this point b point okay with the drafter scale you can join these two points fix the drafter scale at this line and you can do the parallel lines at all the points here i'm using roller scale for getting the parallel lines to the last inclined line so all these are the parallel lines to this last line okay here give the intersection points start from 0 1 2 3 4 this one is the fifth one at all these points do the vertical lines okay take this is the reference line Okay, here we have divided this AB length into 6 equal divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So AB length is 6 miles. We have divided into 6 parts means each part is 1, 1 mile. Okay, this is 1 mile, this is a second mile, third mile like that. Okay, by using this scale we can measure up to 6 miles. Here this scale should read miles, furlongs and chains. Okay, miles it is measuring. So furlongs, what is the relation between miles and furlongs? 1 mile is equal to 8 furlongs. Okay, here take first mile, divide this into 8 parts. Each part is 1 furlong. Okay, take first mile. This is the first mile. Divide this mile into 8 furlongs. Okay, here dividing this length into 8 parts means again we have to do the line, inclined line. We have to divide this into 8 parts. Instead of doing this side, I will do this side. Our main aim is we need to divide this into 8 parts. Okay, just do one inclined line. We are following the same process of dividing the line. This angle should be less than 90 degrees by using the compass take some length any length okay or radius you can call so here we are taking small length that's why take the small length here small radius just divide this into first part second third fourth fifth sixth extend this line here for getting the eight parts <laughs> First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is the seventh one. This is the eighth one. Okay, here again extend the line for getting the last point. Now join this last point to this last end by using the scale. And at all these points, do the parallel line, parallel to this line. Now here we have divided, now take those points, intersection points here also, take this is a reference line, vertical line, so this is the first intersection point, just mark the point here, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, here we have divided 8 parts. Here, do the numbering. So, start from 0 here already have marked. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, at A, 8. After getting the points, join this first point that is 0 to the first point here. Okay, we are getting the diagonal line. Okay, inclined line we are getting like this. Don't join 0 to the first point. It is a vertical line. So 0 to first point here. By using scale, we have to do the diagonal. And then first point to second point. 
and second point to here third point so here we are getting the diagonals so similarly do for other points also so this diagonals each diagonal is 1 1 for long so here 8 for longs so here we are getting diagonals that's why we are calling this scale is diagonal scale so by using this scale we can measure miles this side we can measure furlongs this side okay three furlongs means it will show the third line okay so just mark down here miles here furlongs by using the parallel lines you can mark the units I have written miles this scale is measuring miles this scale is measuring furlongs here this gap I am taking one furlong in this scale we have to read instead of miles furlongs and chains also okay so here I am taking this is one furlong so for marking chain take the relation between furlong and chain one furlong is equal to 10 chains so I am dividing this furlong into 10 parts each part is one one chain okay now take this gap is one furlong divide this gap into 10 parts each part is one one chain okay so here dividing this length head length into 10 parts means to the inclined line follow the same process okay for dividing this line take any angle line this angle should be less than 90 take little bigger one after doing the line take the some length here any length divide this inclined line into 10 parts here are center take first part second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so remaining parts you have to extend the line like this after eighth ninth okay, this is tenth one just count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 find the last point to d by using scale use drafter scale it is easy to do the parallel lines now at all the points do the parallel lines parallel to this line okay last line up to this length in the sheet do with pencil don't use pens sketch pens like that for getting the clear view in the camera i am using pens getting the intersection points do the numbering here let us take this is zero okay one two three four five six seven eight nine this is the tenth one okay now here at all these points do the parallel lines horizontal lines okay take this is a reference line here I will use another color so that we can see the lines clearly at one okay this line should be parallel to this horizontal line this gap that is one furlong we are dividing into 10 parts okay one furlong we are dividing into 10 parts means each part is one chain so here each part is one one chain that's why we can measure chains this from this scale okay now here we need to mark in this scale we have to show the distance of four miles three furlongs two chains four miles means so start from zero zero to one first mile second mile third mile fourth mile okay at four do the extension line So from 0 to 4 it is a 4 miles and then 3 furlongs and 2 chains. 3 furlongs means third line will give the 3 furlong and then 2 chains. Okay, 2 here. Take the intersection point of 3 furlongs 2 chains. Means 3 furlongs and 2 chains here this intersection point. 
at this point do the vertical line like this let's take this is the reference any one of the vertical line so at this point do the line okay here i did extension lines in between i have marked a dimensional line here in between these reference lines i have marked the given dimension 4 miles 3 furlongs and 2 chains in this way we can mark 3 consecutive units by using the diagonal scale if only 2 consecutive units are there we can use plane scales okay for 3 we are using the diagonal scale for each and every scale we have to mark rf value for the given scale so in this way we can mark the given dimension if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends and other video lectures those are plane scales and other diagonal scales i will give video link in description box please check it thank you for watching